Hello, so tomorrow I have an exam. So tomorrow at 9am I have my leadership exam, which is a 50 minute exam, 45 multiple choice questions. It is worth 22.5% of this module, so it's worth quite a lot. Yesterday I spent the whole day going through my notes. Today I have about, I think it's like 300 pages of reading of articles to hopefully apply those to my notes so that I have a deeper understanding. At least there's a chance that you can get 100%, but uh, I feel like well i mean let's aim for that but today will not just be a boring study vlog i have planned out my day by the hour of course because that's who i am and i have put in strategic breaks every hour or two so as you can see here i am going to be going to the garden center later because well not only did i accidentally break a pot this morning it was too early to film and i was just heartbroken but this plant is growing out of its pot you might be able to see this new shoot here i think because it doesn't have any soil it's gonna die and the roots are literally like popping out i think it's a 20 minute walk or something to the garden center i never knew that i've been spending hours and so much money going to columbia Road flower market when there's one right next to me so it's time to crack on with the day let's get changed <laughs> i also forgot to mention that my propagating station that i showed in a few vlogs ago when i was putting that all in it's all grown now i'm not sure if you can even see all of those roots but they were not there when i planted them but it basically means that they are now big and strong enough to be planted in their own pots our house is going to be its own garden center I'm not even gonna have to walk 20 minutes. So the first thing that I'm gonna do today is write down a list of all the articles that I would like to read because we've got core reading, additional reading and then recommended reading. So I'm gonna do pretty much all of the core and see if I can fit in any additional and recommended. So these are just the core ones and as you can see they're quite long like a lot of them are around 20-30 pages. blue light glasses. My eyes are already hurting. <laughs> so it is just gone 10 which means I've been working for about an hour and according to my time schedule it's time to take a break and I'm going to cut out my calendar and put it across my wall. This calendar is really really nice. It's from the calendar's from the VNA. My parents got it for me for Christmas and I love it because it's oriental gardens and like Chinese plants. But the problem is it's too heavy and it keeps on falling down, hence why it's on the month of May at the moment. But what I thought, if I cut out January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and I start on October, then it will be less heavy and then will hopefully stay up. And then I have more designs around my room because, um, yeah, I love decorating. <laughs> So I have finished my wall decoration. I'm not sure if it looks too busy. It looks nice and uh, colorful now. So I've got my pink, red kind of corner, greens, yellows, and blues and purples. up to 11 i have finished my reading for the lecture five like three quarters through lecture one so i'm just going to take a break i think i'm going to go outside it's a really rainy gross day today but sometimes i really like studying when i'm really cold anytime my sister or any friends used to come round, they used to be like oh your room's always cold because it always makes me study harder sometimes if i get too cold i put on my dressing gown but like yeah if i'm warm then i just want to go for a nap so i'm going to go outside get some fresh air get some oxygen in my brain Maybe I'll need two because they're really small.
So something I would definitely recommend, if you've got a friend on your course and you've got a load of reading, read it together, like read it quick, read it fast, and then you can chat about it. And if some of you get confused, it basically just makes you focus. So I've done these top four. I'm now gonna make lunch, tofu, couscous, green veg. I haven't cooked tofu in ages, and I wanna do my Chinese grandma justice. I would do it with rice, but I don't have much rice left, and couscous is cheaper, this is literally 99p. I always add apple cider vinegar to my couscous, but I'm not sure if this is gonna work. But I've got sweet chili sauce, because that's always great with tofu. Some dark soy sauce and lime juice and garlic salt. I wish I had sesame seeds because they make tofu like top notch, but you've got to work what you got. Oh, here it's a bit spicy. The treat, whoa, but it's nice, but very spicy. I must admit, I wish I hadn't put that sweet chilli sauce in because it kind of ruined the meal a little bit, but it's all right. It's just gone at two, so I'm going to head out to the garden centre. It's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do, making art. So I've just returned from the garden centre and I've set up this little gardening station behind me. I got a new fresh plastic thing. They only came in sets of three. Also what the lady told me was that repotting season is apparently between April to September. So this plant might go into shock. Um, but like fingers crossed it won't. And then this is my house plant potting mix. And then this is the plant whose pot broke this morning. This was the pear to the one that broke. I hope it hasn't got root bound where it's like grown into the pot. And I don't want to hurt any of the roots. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh, I love you, I did it. Okay, let me just chuck a bit more soil in. I think that's brilliant. Now it can grow big and strong. Now I have 10 more minutes to do my little propagations. Now it's time to stick some more soil in. My hands are gonna be so dirty, but I'm, I've accepted that now. So this one can be Nicole's little plant. I'm not sure if I should have actually put these into like one of these before putting it into there. Oh no! I think I should have So this is what my Zoom class will see. They'll see my trousers drying on the radiator, but they won't see all of this. I really need to do some eye drops because my eyes are feeling really dry. So this tutorial is for leadership and for leadership 55% of our mark is this reflective essay, 2,500 words. For five tutorials that we have we have to write 500 words about them and kind of reflect on them. Today I think we're going to be doing a quiz and we often work in pairs and then after the class I'll write down some notes on it. I've just joined the teams. Oh and I've got to do my um, attendance registration. does for cancer research and that he can save lives but yeah, maybe <laughs> no I agree I think I think they should fire him so the tutorial is just finished I'm gonna finish off potting the last one I worked so hard to grow these so I just don't want them to die <laughs> so on today's gardening show we have potted three little spider plants I tidied my bedroom, got the dustpan and brush out, so it's all nice and clean now. In an hour there is a call for all the mentors who are at King's Business School, so we're looking after first years coming in. That's going to be half an hour, but before then, I have basically read an article from every single lecture. So instead of taking off more articles, I just want to make sure that my notes, that I know my notes were really, really well from all the lectures, so I'm just going to go back and read those for an hour. I'm definitely going to put in some more eye drops though, because my eyes are so so dry. Now it looks like I've just been crying, but I've not. These are fake tears, literally that's what they're called, artificial tears. I'm gonna go make dinner. I bought some reduced M&S salmon fish cakes a few days ago and I had one yesterday, really good. Chucked it in my air fryer for, I think it was like 20 minutes with some sweet potato fries that I'm gonna make. So luckily, the thing about these Teams meetings being online means that I don't have to always have my camera on so I can eat my dinner uh, while I listen and chat. They don't have to see. So it's 7.30 and I've actually just been speaking to my friend for an hour after the call, which is really, really nice. You make it hard to say goodbye.
because I can't properly wash my face yet because of laser eye surgery, I have been using this blue plasma. It's basically like a cleanser. So my face feels like it has been cleaned. Also, after being out in London for a day, I feel like my face is always dirty. Then afterwards, I moisturize with this night moisturizer. Um, because it's winter, my skin gets a little bit more dry. Then after that, I'd usually put on my little eye goggles to protect myself from rubbing my eyes while I sleep. But I am gonna just be reading my lecture notes before bed to help it sink in. When I get tired, I'll put them on, but I'm just gonna go clean my teeth. I'm feeling kind of prepared for tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up at seven, do two hours of revision, like, you know, the stress revision before you press start. I feel like I've read so many articles that I just can't wait for it to be over, like to just get all of my knowledge out. And then it'll be the weekend. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on this channel. I'll see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.